we can get a ship. Or did we put too much stuff away on the um, various trips we had to make back to base? I thought each of the charts will give me one of these. Maybe like one in five or something. Yeah, the idea is it's either a bigger, better ship for. Um, ooh, this might be one we want to. Yeah, let's just be them. As I enter the vessel, I'm greeted by a pile of military multi tools clearly thrown from a rack that once housed them. They fizz and spark and look unsafe. The broken body of a tendril behemoth lies awkwardly nearby. The craft must have crashed with such ferocity that little else is intact inside the ship. Try out a multi tool. <laughs> the loaded pouch and it explodes, burning my flesh. The multi tool itself is functional. Compare. Mm. Change. Trade in. That's the problem though. I don't want to trade in my multi tool. 7 of 17 slots. Big one. Exercise the damage detected. Okay. Anyway. Ooh. Very technical. The damage machinery. Let's get a few. Is the challenge is can we make this operational? And how much can we get for it? This is uh, the Halcyon and Marvel H department. Okay. So just before we start, uh, why did I do that? Um, I wanted a safe point, which I think is now in the other starship actually. Yeah. Okay, let's get a safe point. So this is potential 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 5, 35. So about the same potential as my current one. Um, but lots, lots to spend to uh, make the ship flyable. Oh no, my current one's better. Ooh, my current's way better. Um, however, we can uh, salvage this ship. This is now mine. <laughs> and we need to fix this. There we go. Get it flyable. Form stars is working. Ah, microprocessor. Deflector. And hyperdrives. Microprocessor. I know that means it's not pliable. 
Um, we don't need hyperdrive because we're still in our home system. Oh, okay. So the cockpit looks different as well for the different ships. Oh, I like it. Go to the mission agent and also scrap the ship. See if we can get salvaged uh, parts or not. Don't think we have to s unlock it to make it worth more or get the better stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go do that one. So the anomaly. Yeah, this feels a bit clunkier. Just by the sheer uh, cockpit size change. Might have been the same. <laughs> Alcyon Marvel HD5. So one out of five actually gave me a distress beacon of the emergency stuff. The rest was like abandoned buildings and stuff. Okay. I don't think I want to save that one yet. I like my current one. Why, what type of ships you want, would want to save? If a queen greets me as I approach, they have plenty of work available and rewards to match challenges. I think increased of the merchant skill. Take a photo on an airless world. Explorer skill. More light labor group. <laughs> okay. um, so the way this works, I think, is I just go and scrap this one, and then it will summon my other ship, with my local ship. Gosh, it's interesting. Time scrapper, then Warning, Starship, Halcyon, Marvel, HG5 and all cargo will be destroyed. Confirm salvage decision. Salvage drones deployed. Storage? Oh man. That might be the thing, I need to repair some of them to actually get the storage modules because that was what I was hoping for. And... Some of this pulse engine module, starship shield module. Get it this side. Hundred and fifty thousand for one. Okay. Do have a few of these. Do we want to sell it? I want to apply it to my other ship now. The other one. But we can go and sell our uh, scrap. So out of five, we got one distress beacon. We got two. Nothing founds. After we got a building, we got nothing founds. Or three of them. Felt ridiculous. Spend all that money for that chart. For all the nav data for the chart. <laughs> so you're good. Right, of this. Still depressed. 
Secretary. This one. And full of cogs. Ah, we do have a storage augmentation. Sweet. Where did that go though? Ah, storage augmentation over there, okay. Sweet! Um, I think... I'll go back to my base. And, uh... Apply this. Reset my uh, main ship to... the bigger one. <laughs> Storage into that thing. I think. We might have another one that we've stored in the storage. No dropbox. Hmm. Or did we just apply it to our ship straight away? Might have applied it to our ship straight away. Um, okay, so that's uh, the wrong ship. Let me get my other ship here. It's now five. Five. Yeah, there we go. This is my new favorite ship. Favorite Dallin in MK2. And. Ah, so we have to use this on a space station, I remember. I remember. Two modules as well for the Starship Pulse Engine. There. That'll do. Six percent boost, two percent maneuver boost. Strength plus seven plus seven. Okay. Damage potential one three nine. Shield strength one eight eight. Hyperdrive range two five eight now. Maneuverability three eight three. Okay. Still a C class though, but it's got lots of slots. And we've got in our normal inventory we've got this that we can go and apply on the space station to get a ship. All that. All that. Think. Still stuck of cobalt. Okay. Do you have oxygen? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go up to the space station and get a uh, upgrade for this now.
storage upgrade. But we had the right um, type of stuff with us, hermetic seals, metal plating, carbon nanotubes, um, wiring room, to make sure the, we get the ship flyable, just to bring it up here for uh, all the scrapping. I think you can normally buy upgrades as well, extra slots, but it just gets really expensive to buy that. But if you're showing in money, you can do that. Starship outfitting. Target ship, a favorite talent, Mark II. Upgrade class and or storage or mail ship. Upgrade. Purchase storage, 20 million units. Upgrade class. 10,000 nanites. Supply a augmentation. Hmm. Right in there. Starship inventory size increased. Okay. Um. Let's check if there's anything we wanted in there. Optics. Heat sink for photon cannon. Stability drive, pulse engine fuel efficiency, and related to pulse engine. Mm. Okay. Got the upgrade. Okay, probably done storage. Also, we go to this. See if we can do one of the combined missions. What? Well, Triton Hyper stuff. We need to go one of the updates. Yeah, do a bit of a farming. Triton. Now that we've got a bit of storage again. Gold. Oops, early. The hybrid trackers. We want one upgrade. Think. Ah, oh, phosphorus. 
Which one was it? One of them. I tried to hide it a bit. Mm, anyway. It looks empty when we come in and then they load in the other players. The game was mostly designed, I think, for a single player in mind, single player experience. But by the time we get here. Yeah, if you more load. There we go. Boom 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 boom. And the, there's more players. Check Nexus. Uh, construct an underwater outpost, hypnotic eyes, two fifty quicksilver, kill twenty five monstrosities, raid a planet to deep. Initialize the mission. Start the mission. Yes. All crew members ready. Start the mission. Network compromise. So yeah, these you can typically do with uh, other players as well. It's a bit harder. So, uh, return to your ship and leave the space anomaly. Crew maybe warp to the location. Make sure we've got uh, enough space for that. And rain load. Check my inventory. Shipping medium supply. Yeah. Sweet. So. Sentinel vulnerability facilities in the detected. Gamma root high, <coughs> high energy planet. Uranium salt. The other thing we need to do is if we see phosphorus on a planet, we need to go and harm or harvest some phosphorus as well. This is the one where we uh, can this planetary depot, so we're going to try and uh, just destroy it from the air. We can see it hiding behind the mountain. It's coming up from the side. Can't quite see it. Ah, there it spawns. What? Raid a planetary depot. I thought it's a. Uh, Gonna be one that we can destroy from the air. Hmm. Progress not saved in multiplayer. Means a gentleman.
The Burrell Factory. Terminal is covered in thick purple substance, shimmering bubbles expanding just below the surface of the alarm rings in my ears. Touch the display. Generally I touch the terminal but it does not respond. Perhaps if the network mistook me for a sentinel I could get further. Ah. Oh. I need to acquire Pugnium from the Sentinels if I'm to access their corrupted network. Okay. Man, usually I have the Pugnium. Oh. Okay, let's get some Pugnium. Need to recharge my uh, Blaze Javelin. Sorry. Yeah, it's two of them. factory <laughs> it reacts aggressively as if it senses me to be in hostile but I need to meld with it somehow slow the hand of Pugnium <laughs> I downloaded the address to my exit navigation systems depot located ah so this was all just to get a depot location Something else is searching. Bounds lost. Remembrance. Getting increased with the Viking. a few times. Okay, so this facility was actually just the location to Here's the other one we saw. Not just over there. Talk at the depot.
Dolphins and also searching. Defeat all Hydra and Sentinel forces. Oops. It's not fresh. Landing sequence unavailable. I think this counts. Expert destroyed seventy centimeters. Position not saved in multiplayer. Okay. However, I'm going to take a short bio and stretching break there. I'll be back in two to five minutes.